guys, I'm Trina and this is my spoiler free series review of The Remnant Chronicles Trilogy by Mary E. Pearson. The three books in this series are The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness. This is a young adult fantasy series and in this world there are three major kingdoms and the princess of one of these prominent kingdoms runs away on her wedding day because she doesn't want to marry a guy that she's never met because this is an arranged marriage. She runs away to a local small town with her lady's maid and they pose as serving girls in this tavern. This jilted prince is pretty upset by her running away so he goes to track her down and since she's never met him she does not recognize him when he finds her. There is also another person tracking her down and that is the assassin of a third kingdom. So she finds herself posing as a tavern maid with her lady's maid and they run into these two guys. One of them is a prince, one of them is an assassin, but you don't really know who's who in this mix of characters and none of the characters really know who's who either. And meanwhile there is this ancient prophecy in this world that they think might be about some of them. So that's what I would say is the overall gist of this series and I want to get into more more of my thoughts on the individual books. I'm not going to mention any spoilers, but I wanted to do this differently than my normal just overall likes and dislikes because I felt so wildly differently about all of these books. Book one, The Kiss of Deception, was my favorite of the three books in this series. In this book, we don't know which of the characters is the prince or the assassin. I want to mention that because it's so widely known and talked about with this series, but it is purposeful. So if you get into this book and you're like, what is going on here? Why is this not telling me? I thought this character was this one. And, you know, it's doing that on purpose. It does really keep you on your toes. And that is actually my favorite aspect of anything else in this entire series, was trying to figure out who was who. I found that very exciting. There is a love triangle that's very prominent throughout all three books in the series. This book is really mainly just about that and introducing you to the characters. I didn't think that there was a lot of world building in this one because it is really confined to just one of the kingdoms in this world. However, the very last portion of this book, you kind of get to know some of the other tribes and groups that are in this world and it does really start to open it up. I gave it four stars. I did like it. However, I do think that if you don't like that confusion of not knowing who's who and if you don't like love triangles, there is a possibility that you're not going to get into this series even to start with, but this book was the one that gripped me. It's why I continue the series, because I really did like this first book. Moving into book two, The Heart of Betrayal, it is set in one of the other kingdoms. You're starting to learn much more about the world at this point. I was just so excited to be back in this world. It felt very familiar. I was really enjoying being with these characters again and seeing this world be expanded. I really did like where this book was set. Now, the flaw that I have said in my review of this one before is that I don't think very much happened at all in this book. And I think the thing I enjoyed the most most about this book is that at this point you know who all the characters are and I really enjoyed getting to know them for who they really were instead of just trying to figure it out. I thought the characters were my favorite in this one because Leah starts becoming this strong and empowering female character who's really thinking on her own because you know she didn't want to be a pawn in a marriage just to make an alliance. She wants to carve her own way in life. So I really did enjoy Leah and enjoy getting to know the two guy characters on their own. So I did enjoy this book. I gave it four stars. Then I went into book three and I read book three really close to having Read book two, and this is just a really long book. It is almost 700 pages, and at this point, maybe because I had read them back to back, I felt like I had just been in this world and this story for too long. This is when you start getting answers about the world and what is going on here with that prophecy, and I guess that I just was not a fan of this particular type of world building. Around halfway in this book, I just kind of lost interest. I just it disappeared. I couldn't find it. I never really got back into this story. At the end of the book, I found myself not caring about what the outcome was. I found myself not really caring about the whole love triangle because, in my opinion, I've seen a lot of reviews on this one as I've been trying to kind of work out my feelings on it. A lot of people have said that the romance completely goes away in this book, and I can see where you might say that it does kind of take a back burner like that's not the main driving force of this but to me I felt like the love triangle was still very present and that it had worn out its welcome because I feel like this book a couple of times tries to jump ships or switch ships and I don't know how I felt about that I was just like come on it's not the time for this love triangle right now I'm tired of it and then the main love interest in this book really disappointed me because the two of them fought a lot in this book they had a lot of arguments and in the middle of one of their arguments he starts kissing her and undressing her and he's just trying to get her to drop 
the argument to kind of change her mind and bend to his will and he's doing it through sexual manipulation in my opinion and I was just not okay with that it really just made me go ugh. I ended up giving it a two and a half star rating for the most part I just can't really work out my feelings on this book I don't know if it was just that I read this at the wrong time and I wasn't in the mood for it but it did let me down so I feel very meh very in the middle lukewarm about it I really have no idea what my thoughts are because maybe if I were more interested in reading this at the time that I did maybe I would have loved it a lot more. So those are my thoughts overall on each of these individual books. What worked for me in this series is that I really enjoyed the setup. I liked not knowing which character was which in the beginning. I did really like that angle to it. It was interesting to me. But what didn't work for me is that I felt like the love triangle dragged on for far too long and I really just wasn't a fan of the world in this series ultimately. So those are my thoughts on this series. I have had people ask me, is it worth reading? Is it worth starting? Or if I've only read the first book, is it worth continuing? Book three, it's so similar in tone to book number two and it feels like not much happens and then when it does happen it just doesn't leave an impact or an impression on me like it didn't wow me so personally it's really difficult for me to give a recommendation to start this series and finish it out I really think it's gonna come down to you and your preferences do you like love triangles do you like political based fantasies without much magic where you're trying to make alliances among different kingdoms and trying to fulfill prophecies or wondering if you can you know get around what a prophecy has said your destiny is. I can't say that I regret finishing the series though because if I didn't I would have always been curious about how it ended. Like I think I was always going to finish this series. It just is very unfortunate to me that the last book let me down but that's the way it is with a lot of series finales for a lot of people so if you guys have read it, definitely let me know what you thought of the ending, what you thought of the first book. Have you enjoyed this series, or is it one that you're wanting to check out? Have I completely ruined your chances of picking up this series now with my opinion on the third book? I don't know. I hope I haven't completely talked you out of reading it, because that is never my intention. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the comments. Bye!